With stocks in a bear market and the economic outlook shaky, here are some lessons from the last bad bear market. The last bear market in stocks was the 33.9% plunge from February 5th to March 23rd, 2020. However, the COVID bear market and recession was caused by a 100-year economic storm, and it was cut short by an historic government emergency stimulus program. So it is not very instructive in understanding how the current bear market might end. The bear market of 2008? Now that is another matter. It came after the global financial crisis and bursting of a massive mortgage debt bubble. Stocks, as measured by the Standard & Poor's 500 Index, lost 37% of their value. That was a brutal bear market, which begs the question, what if we are in for something like that again? After a 37% capital loss in 2008, an investment must return 58.7% to restore your capital fully to break even. To recover fully from the bear market of 2008, the Vanguard 500 Index Fund, a proxy for the S&P 500 Index, took until the spring of 2012 to reach break-even, after sustaining a 37% loss in 2008. In comparison, a diversified portfolio comprised of seven assets recovered two years earlier. The diversified portfolio had fully recovered by the spring of 2010 to its pre-bear market value. Be patient. Diversification worked in the last brutal bear market, and even the frightening crisis of 2008 ultimately did not stop the U.S. stock market from growing significantly in the long run.